I'm one of the biggest Ethereum bulls out there, but even I can admit that it has a huge problem. Ethereum's scalability sucks when compared to other projects, and everybody knows that. But today, I'm excited to announce that that's about to change forever because Ethereum just activated its secret weapon, which is gonna help it win the scaling wars. So that secret weapon is called ZK EVM. And today I'm gonna to share my three part thesis as to why that's gonna help Ethereum destroy its competitors. Now in just a minute, I'm gonna share some clutch ways that you can invest in these ZK EVMs besides just buying ETH. But first we gotta start with part one of my thesis, which is that ZK or zero knowledge is a game changer in and of itself. So it probably makes more sense to talk about zero knowledge in the context of zero knowledge proofs. And that's just some fancy mathematics that was invented in the last few decades. But if you think about it, mathematics has been around for thousands of years, right? So something being invented in the past 30 to 40 years is on the absolute cutting edge of things. Anyways, on a high level, zero knowledge proofs let you prove that you know some secret information without actually having to reveal that underlying information. For example, let's say that you wanted to prove to someone that you know a secret password, but instead of just giving them the password straight up, which you definitely don't wanna do because it's a secret, you can just send them a ZK proof, which is constructed in some special mathematical way and they can verify it to be valid so that lets them know that you have the password you claim you do without actually having to see it. As you can imagine, this is some world changing stuff and its applications are practically endless. But in terms of crypto specifically, you can use these ZK proofs for scalability purposes. People have been using them to build rollups for Ethereum and they're simply called ZK rollups. Now for us end users, these rollups are like any other blockchain. We go to them, we send transactions, we use dApps, whatever we want really. But how they operate is super special because they roll up a ton of user transactions, compute one of these ZK proofs for them, and then post that as a single transaction on the Ethereum mainnet. This gets you way faster speeds because you can process transactions on the rollup rather than on the congested Ethereum network. Also, this approach gives us the same level of security as Ethereum because the proofs are posted on Ethereum, right? So it's secured by all the Ethereum validators out there and the rollup doesn't have to go get its own validators to protect against 51% attacks or whatever. So that's a huge game changer and these ZK rollups are really the final form end game solution for scaling Ethereum. But wait, because even though ZK proofs and ZK rollups are amazing, they're not going to help Ethereum win the scaling wars by themselves. We're still missing a key part of the puzzle here. And that brings me to part two of my thesis, which is that a special form of ZK rollups called ZK EVMs are the real game changers for Ethereum. And to understand why we need to take a step back. Okay, so we all know that Ethereum is super slow, right? Like it can do 16 transactions per second on average. But rather than take the Solana approach and make that number super high, Ethereum uses layer two scaling solutions to process transactions elsewhere and then post them or settle them on Ethereum. There's actually many types of layer twos out there, but one of the best kinds is called rollups. And even within rollups, there's multiple different types. Like optimistic rollups are currently the more popular ones. That's mainly because they have a simpler design so they're easier to build and implement. And two of them you might have heard of before are optimism and arbitrum. Now optimistic rollups are cool and you can use them right now, but they do have some drawbacks to them, which is why it's generally accepted that ZK rollups are the better long-term solution. But there is one big problem with ZK rollups though, and that's the fact that their design is kind of complicated. So they do not and cannot support EVM or Ethereum virtual machine straight out of the box. But why does that even matter though? Well, it matters because if you don't support the EVM, you can't port over your favorite Ethereum dApps to use on there. Developers would have to rewrite all their smart contract code from scratch and nobody wants to do that. Now, fortunately, this is not a deal breaker for ZK rollups because you can make them compatible with an EVM. It just takes some work. And that's why a lot of teams have been working to create their own EVM compatible ZK rollups, or you could just call them ZK EVM rollups. These rollups will let you port over Uniswap, Compound, Aave, or any other dApp that you like, and you can use them on day one. So that's gonna bring way more adoption to the rollups that are not EVM compatible. Now, I bet you're super bullish by now, but hold your horses because the story is not over yet. We still need part three of my thesis to fully make the case that Ethereum has won the scaling wars once and for all. 
But before you get there, a quick note that I just launched my affiliate deals page on my website. If you go there, you can get all sorts of discounts and deals on products that I personally recommend, like security tools that keep you from getting hacked, crypto tax tools that you can try for free, and even a completely reimagined hardware wallet. Go check them out, link below. All right, so part three of my thesis is that a lot of these ZK EVM projects are right around the corner. And I bet they're gonna make you want to leave Solana, Avalanche, or Binance Smart Chain. So let's take a look at four of them, starting with the first one, Polygon. Now, Polygon already has its own blockchain, but that's more of a proof of stake sidechain. And many people don't even consider that a true layer two solution, but that's about to change because Polygon is working on a ZK EVM rollup that's for sure a layer two solution. They're aiming to launch it in the next few weeks, which would make them the first project to bring one of these ZK EVMs to market. But you know what's interesting? Their Matic token won't actually be used for gas fees on this new network. They're going to use ETH as a gas token while well, Matic will be used for staking. This was confirmed by their founder mid last year, and I kind of like this approach because I think it helps both ETH and Matic get more adoption. Anyways, next up is ZK Sync, and this is one of my personal favorite ZK related projects. They've been community focused and community centered from day one. Like they're making their code base completely open source. And also they're gonna do a token airdrop to everyone who's helped them out along the way. So that's a major alpha for you. Go check them out, join their community and try out their network so that you can potentially qualify for their airdrop. This is not financial advice, of course, but I'm definitely going to scoop up some of these ZK Sync tokens as soon as they hit the markets and hold them for years. Now here's a lesser known project for you. It's called Scroll, and it's also a competitor in the ZK EVM arena. It's honestly pretty similar, so I'm not gonna go too deep here, but they're currently in testnet with mainnet scheduled to launch later this year. So if you wanna go farm an airdrop, you should definitely go try out the testnet as soon as possible. Now this next project you might have heard of before, it's called StarkNet, which is made by Starkware. And Starkware actually has another solution called StarkX, which powers popular projects like DYDX, Immutable X, and so rare. But StarkNet is their more decentralized ZK rollup solution. And one thing that's unique about it is that it uses a different type of ZK technology called ZK Starks with a T instead of the usual ZK Snarks with an N. Now here's some alpha for you. They've already deployed their StarkNet token on Ethereum mainnet called STRK, but it's not for sale yet. So just be on the lookout, but don't fall for any scam copycats. That's not the real thing. Anyways, I've made the case that ZK Tech is a game changer. ZK EVMs are a game changer. And a bunch of these projects are right around the corner. This is truly the cutting edge of scaling technology. And that's why I believe that it's game over and that Ethereum has won the scaling wars. I'm long ETH, I'm long all these ZK projects, and I'll probably never use an Ethereum competitor again. Let me know what you think, and don't forget to check out my affiliate deals, link below.